Hey everyone, welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the recipes in DPP4. So that's Canon's Digital Photography Professional 4. I'll go through how to save your recipes so that you can use them at a later stage. This is similar to how you would use presets in Adobe Lightroom. So this is for the Canon DPP4. It uses something called recipes. I'll show you how to apply a recipe from one photo that you've edited onto numerous other photos and how to save that recipe for later use. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use recipes in Digital Photo Professional 4. So recipes work really well if you have photos that are similar. So basically, if you took many photos of the same kind of thing and you've already done your edits on one photo and you don't want to go and manually redo each and every one, you can then apply a recipe to one to the rest of the photos that are very similar. Now, the nice thing about recipes is you can also save them on your computer and then next time you've got photos you can name your recipes however you like so for example uh, landscape beach ocean recipe you could save that in your computer and then next time you're editing similar photos you can just apply your recipes so now i'm going to show you two ways that you can use recipes both are really easy so let's begin so as you can see this photo here in the top left corner i've already done some edits to make it look a little bit better than these three here these three photos here i have done no edits on them at all they raw files as they came out of the camera so all i've basically done is fiddled with the brightness and the color tone and contrast shadows highlights and so on if you're looking for a tutorial on how to use digital photography professional 4 i'll put some links in the description below this video the first way to use recipes is to pick the photo you've already edited and if you're happy with the way it looks right click on the photo and then find an option called copy recipe so you can just copy recipe and then you can click on the photo you want to apply the recipe to right click and then paste recipe and as you can see now, it copied all the settings from this photo onto this photo without us having to go and manually do this photo also. So now these two photos are already done and these two are not. So now I'm going to show you how to save a recipe on your computer for use at a later stage when you have other photos that you've taken and that same recipe would potentially apply to them. So I'm going to right click on this and then find an option that says save recipe in file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and over here it opens up a default location which is most likely your documents but you can go into your desktop or your C drive and create a folder whatever you like. So I'm just going to go create a new folder called recipes and then if I double click on there what is the file name so I'm going to call this one let's say beach and then I'll click on save. Now what that does is creates a DP4 file in that folder that you've created and then from there if you want to use it at a later stage what you're going to do is select the photo you want to use it on and then right click on that photo and then select the option that says read and paste recipe from file. So I'm going to click on that option, it opens up the folder with your recipes, click on the recipe that you've saved previously and then hit open. And there you go, it applies the recipe exactly how it did to the other two photos but this one's from the file that you've saved so you've got this exact setting saved in a file now and that's how easy it is to use recipes now for the last photo we can do the same thing we can either open it from the file or right click and copy recipe another way to do is just to click edit and then copy recipe from here it's the same thing you can go edit and then paste recipe and as you see it applies the settings exactly what we had in this photo are now applied to all our photos quickly and without manually having to edit all our photos and that's as easy as it is to use recipes in digital photo professional 4. thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it helps you out if you did and if you learned something cool do give me a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to this channel i'm gonna have many more cool videos to come in the future thank you for watching take care stay safe and goodbye